Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Ledger Live has just released a new update. So I wanted to go over some of the new features and uh, give you some tips. So let's get started. All right, so I just ran the update, and these are the release notes. Uh, the update's pretty simple. When you launch your Ledger Live and you're in the portfolio, you should see a blue bar at the top that tells you that you need to update your application. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just click on the link there on the blue bar. It'll download the update, and then it will allow you to run it. And you can do that within the application. For those of you who have issues with that, when uh, it hangs or crashes during that process, my advice to you is to just shut down Ledger Live. Uh, go over to ledger.com and download the latest version uh, on their downloads page. You can download the installer to your computer and just run it standalone. Uh, and then uh, once you relaunch Ledger Live, you'll have the latest version. So every now and then that in-application update hangs or freezes or something of that nature. So that would be my uh, advice on that. For those of you who were able to successfully run the update, I just wanted to quickly go over some of the new features and walk you through some of the procedures that need to be done after the update. Specifically, these uh, the updates of your Ledger device apps, right? A lot of people forget to do that. So uh, looks like they've added native SegWit support for Litecoin and Digibyte. Uh, better documented native SegWit and SegWit accounts. That's kind of cool. Um, those are two different address protocols. So uh, some people have uh, been a little confused by which one they need to use. Um, in general, I tend to go with native SegWit, the newest one, when possible. But there are a few exchanges that don't support it yet, so it, it might be a good idea to hang on to uh, a SegWit account or two, just in case you need to transfer to a Bitcoin wallet that doesn't support native SegWit. And then after it's in Ledger Live, you can combine it. Uh, security improvements of SegWit signature with trusted inputs, updated ERC-20 list. Now this is gonna be interesting because there's a lot of ERC-20 tokens out there that uh, people are buying that are not supported in Ledger Live and then there's a lot of ERC-20 tokens that you can buy other, uh, on exchanges and transfer into your Ledger Live uh, Ethereum wallet, but they're not giving you pricing information. So it shows the amount, but not the US dollar value, and that freaks out a lot of people. Um, so we'll see uh, what happens when we get this these updated ERC-20 lists. This should... Uh, give us more information about our ERC-20 tokens, and then some minor bug fixes. So I'm gonna continue here, and I'm at the home screen. I'll go uh, full screen here so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so we need to get our device connected, and we need to enter our PIN. All right, and then uh, we'll be at what we call the home screen, where you can see all of the apps, right? All right, so I've got the device connected, the my pin is entered, and everything's good. So now I'm going to go over here to Manager, all right, and then I'll want to allow Ledger Manager on the device. I can do that by hitting both buttons here. Whenever you see a check mark and a command on the device, it's it means you need to hit both buttons to choose that command. You can move over to the next command, which is Deny, which we don't want to do by using the navigation buttons. But generally, when you see a command with a check mark, it means hit both buttons, right? So we're going to do that, and that's going to take us over to the Ledger Manager. Now, this is where we can update the apps on the device, right? That's going to be separate from just updating the Ledger Live software, right? We need to perform some operations on the device. And there you'll notice at the top, it's got updates available. So uh, we can just tick this little down arrow and see that they want to update the Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and the Litecoin app. So we want to do that. We want to make sure that we've got our device fully updated. So we'll hit Update All. All right, and you'll see on your device that it's processing. All 
All right, and there we go. We've got everything up to date. So it's very important that you do that so that these new features will work properly. So now that I've got that done, let's go over to the account section and kind of take a look at what's going on with these new accounts. All right, so over in the account section, uh, you can see I already have some native SegWit accounts. Um, they use the new address format. So if we look at a native SegWit account and do a quick receive, we can see that the addresses for native SegWit start with BC1. All right, and then if we go over to a non-native uh, SegWit or just a, a SegWit account and do a receive, you can see that the uh, Bitcoin addresses start with a three, right? This is just a different address format. And like I said, the native SegWit is the, the newer one. Uh, well, first of all, let's look at our Ethereum main over here. As you can see, I've got an Ethereum wallet and it's got several tokens in it. So I'm going to pull this down and uh, the tokens that I had in there that I was kind of hoping I would see some pricing information for uh, have not been updated. So hopefully whatever tokens you were holding in your Ethereum wallet that were uh, not giving you pricing information, maybe they will be now. And uh, maybe some Ethereum tokens that you had uh, in your Ethereum wallets that were not showing up in Ledger Live will be showing up now. Um, I don't see any new tokens that... Uh, I, I have some old uh, air drops that don't show up because they're worthless. So I'm not really worried about that too much. Uh, but there we go. We've got that. And I'm going to do a quick add account for Bitcoin just to see how it presents that information on the, the new accounts, right? It's probably, and we're going to need to open up the Bitcoin app when we do an add account. So we'll just navigate around until we're right on top of Bitcoin, which I already was. I'll hit both buttons, get into the Bitcoin app. And it's just going to scan my device for any uh, existing wallets and it's going to uh, offer me new empty ones if I want. So I'll just close this here. Now, as you can see, I've created uh, countless uh, accounts on this device that I've used and deleted and uh, don't use anymore. So I have quite a few just kind of dormant accounts that I really don't need. And then you can see there's, there's one there that I've got that I'm not showing right now. Uh, and then it lists the ones that I already have in Ledger Live. And then here, uh, they give, I guess this is the, the update, right? They, they give you uh, this little blurb here uh, to, as an explanation, right? Because most people won't see all these old accounts when they do an ad. They'll just see the two blank accounts that Ledger is offering them uh, when they first set up the device. And they might be confused. I'm like, well, what's the difference between SegWit and native SegWit? So now they've added this little indicator here that'll take you to a page explaining the difference for you. So I guess that's it, right? It's not earth shattering, but uh, it gives you a little more information about what you're doing and why, right? All right, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to add the accounts, but if I wanted to, I could just tick them. Uh, one or the other, right, or both. And then, of course, you can edit the name here. Uh, and I tend to leave that uh, native SegWit indicator there for my own uh, benefit so I know which accounts are which, but you don't need it, right? You don't, you can name the account whatever you want. Um, and then you'll, when you do a receive, you'll know what type of account it is. But like you can see, I just leave them on there so I know at a glance uh, what type of account they are. All right, and that's it. So update Ledger, update your apps, and uh, hopefully this will be better, easier to use. It gets better every time they announce it uh, and upgrade it. So uh, stick with the updates. Make sure your software is completely up to date. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments, and I'll do my best to get them answered.
Don't forget I do a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.